Joining me now is Shelley Horton from ninehoney.com.au, Australia's leading website for women. Good afternoon. Good Shelley, afternoon. Shelley. Now, a breastfeeding mum has been told to cover up at a restaurant. Look, that's nothing new, but her response is what yeah. made her an internet star. What has she done? So this is a woman who was on holidays over in Mexico and she was at the back of a restaurant and she said normally she's as, you know, unobtrusive as possible, but it was holidays and she said it was pretty relaxed. A man actually came up to her in the restaurant and said, can you please cover up? Her husband was sitting, sitting next to her and so he handed her the cloth that she normally puts over the baby. But instead of putting over the baby, she put it over her own head. And she said, you know what, that's what I'm going to cover up. Now that photo has gone viral and so many women on board cheering her and saying, that's right. Not a problem. That's very funny, although you do get very hot and sweaty. I'm like, she should <laughs> really? breathe under that thing. I was thinking originally when I heard the story that she'd put the cloth over the man's head. I think that would have been more appropriate, I would don't you, I would love Shelley? to have seen that. I want to see you do that. Just no, throw no, no. the cloth. <laughs> now, moving on, celebrities including Amy Schumer and Chelsea Handler, they're quite a pair. Look, they've launched a campaign to shame Ivanka Trump. Yeah. What is this all about? All right, so this is all to do with the children who've been separated from their parents. So... Basically, um, Ivanka's come out saying that this was a low point for the White House and that she feels very sad about it. So the celebrities have jumped on board going, hang on, hang on, hang on, you're talking past tense. In fact, we've got 572 children who have still not been reunited with their families. This is a present issue, so don't just sweep it under the carpet, we need you to act. I feel a little bit awkward about it. Like, I'm like, go after Trump, you know, go after him and go after him hard. I like the fact that Ivanka's actually said that it was a, a low point because you're not going to get her dad saying no, that. that's true. Um, and, I, yeah, I, maybe because she does have a role in the White House, she is fair game, but... Yeah, it's a tough one. Yeah, it I can kind of see I both think sides. I point is, is it's, it's well meant, but, yeah, I don't yeah. think necessarily targeting Ivanka when she was the one that may be trying to do the right thing, yeah. targeting Donald, but they, they realise they're not going to get anywhere with Donald, I think. This is true. This so. is true. But, and it is, I look, I think there's also a point where these celebrities have a right to use the fact that they're celebrities yeah. and get those important social issues out there. So... Let's see what happens. All right, well, she's the closest thing Australia has to homegrown royalty. Now, Crown Princess Mary has shared some of her day-to-day -day activities. And look, it's pretty cute. So cute. Look, they went to the zoo. They're just like a normal family. <laughs> I love them so much. They've actually had a bit of a holiday. So, yeah, she took the, the whole family to the zoo. Look at them hand-feeding lemurs. I think that's amazing. The kids with the dinosaur. Frederick was posing in front of one of the big dinosaurs saying, like, you know, every bloke loves a dinosaur. Um... But, you know, it wasn't all just fun and games. She only had a couple of days off and then she had to get straight back to work and she was hosting one of the um, Copenhagen Fashion Weeks. There she is. So, you know, always. looking amazing. But I do love seeing that very normal side of the royals where they just had fun at the zoo. Yeah, we don't see enough of Princess Mary. Give us more. Give us more. <laughs> I lo look, we're, we're so in love with royals. Right? I will give you every royal you want. Excellent. <laughs> I look forward to it, Shelley. Thank you so much. And, of course, for all those stories and plenty more, head to ninehoney.com.au for all your entertainment, lifestyle and parenting needs.